Years ago, when my brothers and I were boys, our mother had radical cancer surgery. She came very close to death. One morning, about a year after the surgery, my father took mother to an appliance store and asked the manager to show her how to use a machine he had for ironing clothes. It was operated from a chair by pressing pedals with one's knees. Mother was shocked when dad told the manager they would buy the machine and then paid cash for it. On the way home, my mother was upset. To my How can we afford it? Where did the money come I'm from? Finally, Dad told her that Been he had gone without lunches for nearly a year to save enough money. Now when you iron, he said, you won't have to stop and go into the bedroom and cry until the pain in your arm stops. She didn't know he knew about that. There is a man. No man's land and a native son of my sovereign I'm forming a line as I'm making a stand And I will not comply Disperse or disband child Because I am a man For some a life of work and achievement is optional yeah. Some act as if man's highest goal should be his own pleasure Many think it acceptable to father children out of wedlock and to cohabit rather than marry. Dodging commitments is considered smart, but sacrificing naive. You can't take what I am. We who hold the priesthood of God cannot afford to drift. We have work to do. You can't find in a man. We must arise from the dust of self-indulgence and be men. I believe that I'm led Strong and capable And I'm led to believe Someone who can build and create things That I was commanded to be Someone who makes a difference in the world Free Like I'm a man in a No man's land in a Native son of my sovereign I'm forming a line and I'm making a stand and I will not comply, disperse or disband child, because I am a man. Good men sometimes make mistakes. A man of integrity will honestly face and correct his mistakes. And that is an example we can respect. Sometimes men try but fail. True manhood is not always measured by the fruits of one's labors, but by the labors themselves, by one's striving. Though he will make some sacrifices and deny himself some pleasures in the course of honoring his commitments, the true man leads a rewarding life. I was handed the truth, now I'm faced with the facts, and I'm willing to fight for a living. The Lord asked his disciples what manner of men they should be, and then answered, Verily I say unto you, even as I am. That is our ultimate quest. He gave his life to redeem mankind. Surely we can accept responsibility for those he entrusts to our care. I guess I am a man. Arise from the dust, my sons, and be men, even as he is.